What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 127 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Owls. On the last episode we started doing unrated random owls rather than the rated ones, just to see how it compares in terms of like the battling ability of people. And we managed to pick up a positive win ratio. So, that's good. It didn't really tell us much, it seemed pretty even. I mean, one person quit quite quickly. Would people do that in... Regular ra um, ra regular random miles as well. This wasn't really that surprising that the person quit. Let's go for the hypnosis. I'm the sleep. And then we can go out into vanilla. Nice, squeezing. Let's go for the tom. The tom Automatize. Get some speed boost. So which one does a decent amount, 31%. Let's go for a freeze dry. So two is KO, and we get the freeze. Okay, that's a bit unfair. Let's go for another freeze dry. Don't worry, I'm not going to set up more. There's no point anyway. There's nothing that really outspeeds me at this point apart from Deoxy's speed form. I think may still outspeed me. And possibly some like really fast Choice Scarf users. We don't often see Choice Scarf used. Okay, this may outspeed me when it's going to go wrong. No, I don't think it will, but... Go in power ground, almost kill with crit. Overheat will take me out. We basically ruined his special attack. Well, nothing is going to outspeed. So stop looking for that. And let's go for. We'll go for Rain Dance. Ludicolo plus Rain Dance equals fun. Let's get the rain up. Now let's go for a Scald. Two hit kill. He almost takes me out. Oh, he gets a poison. Oh, that's annoying. Let's go for another Scald. That's the correct play. Switching out. And let's go out into Shaman. Because it protects us a bit from. I oh, don't go for Nuzzle. Thank you. Was I HP Ace? Probably. It protects me from overheat, basically. Is the advantage. Let's go for Earth Power. We have speed. No, we don't. We we'll do, but it's really freaking us out that none of the Pokemon are max speed. Because I'm expecting everything to. I'm expecting all the Pokemon to be max speed, and then I look and it's not, and I'm like, oh no. That means I'm gonna lose the speed tag or the speed check. So you have Sturdy. Let's go for Leech Seed. Oh, you woke up. So there's just Sturdy gone. Let's go Seed Flare now. It didn't kill. Okay, not the best play. Um, let's go Explode. Let's go for the Boom Burst. Take out the Avalog. Good choice specs. Barbaracle. And Pheasant. Shell Smash. Don't like that. Well, Stone Edge has got to come through here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Warren's the correct player here with Toxic. Kills. We're gonna lose on uh, Are you kidding me? Why do you have to miss? It's a 70% accurate move and he misses. I'm salty now. I don't know, I don't want to instantly play. I wanted to go to the main menu. Okay, so we we'll lose ball number one. Which isn't great. We well, had it won if we could have hit Focus Blast. But of course, Focus Blast has a name, Focus Miss, and it's justified that name because it always misses even if it has 70 percent accuracy it misses more than 30 percent of the time it just does um let's go we have speed so i could go for air slash and get some flinches potentially okay that does a lot of damage um let's just go for table then i could see if i have a no i don't have a dark tag no point switching. Flashhook takes me out, that's fine. Weakened him by quite a bit. Um, what's your speed? 135 max. There's no way your max speed. Yeah. I was gonna say. There's no way he was at max speed when all the rest of the Pokemon have been at like half speed or half of the max speed. Like I go from 80 to 178, so that is a 98 gap. So 49 plus that is 129. So they are all on half speed. That's how it works. And uh, let's go dynamic punch. Come on. And a charm. Why did you do that? That wasn't nice. Why did you have to one shot? Let's get a willow. Oh, why did you crit? Are you kidding me? Because now I'm going to kill myself doing this. I went willow because I had a feeling you may switch. It didn't, but... I'm predicting a Sucker Punch. If I'm predicting a Sucker Punch, why am I not just going for Brave Bird? Sucker Punch only goes first if he outspeeds me. Which he doesn't. He normally has Player Rock. Doesn't normally have any direct kill for a cargo. Which I'm 97, I won't have speed. Let's winch in power. There's a sucker punch. Big mouth. Come on, cargo. You could have got a boost, Macargo. Hmm. Hmm <laughs> hmm. What is my opponent going to switch in now? A Furfru. Interesting. Let's go for the... Goes for Toxic. Let's go for the Shell Smash. Nice. And now let's go for the Fire Blast. Gets burnt. Five last is a two shot. Now we go for ancient power, hoping for the boost. Rest. Rest. Get the boost. Cargo man. The cargo man. He is super power. He has superpowers. Not he's the superpower. Okay, let's go Polyrath. 
And let's go for the circle throw. Elmo suddenly kill. Doesn't kill. Maybe. Sableye comes in. At least he can't burn. Go for the hydro pump, yeah? Goes on at a bomber snow, which was a good play. We should outspeed. We can go for a focus blast. Or circle throw. Let's not go circle throw, let's go focus blast. That almost takes him out. Giga Drain takes me out, unfortunately. And Jinx is never doing this by herself. I have to go nasty bar. EQ almost takes me out. Please don't be like Bob. I'm left east jinx. Good. Take over your bomber snow. The sable is the big threat. Let's go ice beam now. You would speed me. Ooh, toxic miss. That may win me the game. Depending on how much damage I actually do to the Sableye. And they one shot. It's a good game to my opponent. So pick up a win there. And on to the third battle. So a 1-1 one, one at the minute. What's going to happen in battle number three? I think we well that ball was very close, as was the first ball. I think we're probably, I don't know if we deserve to win the first ball, but we could have won the first ball if we didn't get a miss at the last turn of the match. Like, misses aren't that bad if you get them throughout the game, and you like miss on like say turn 7 out of 18 or whatever. But when you miss on the last turn of the match, that sucks. Pinsa, you have no stab. I mean, I suppose they kind of have stab. Sure, let's sword stance. Now let's go for EQ. You have sturdy though. Close combat wouldn't have even killed. Um, let's go for another EQ. I'm glad he didn't go for a rock type move. Let's go for a return. Down goes Pelipper. And my opponent forfeits. I think with Pinsa set up, that was pretty good time for a forfeit, sort of. Like, Agron was going down to another EQ, um, Reuniclus would have gone down to a return, and everything else probably would have gone down to a return, unless it resisted. In which case, I had close combat and EQ to take it out, so I think Pinsa was going to sweep there. Anyway, bit of a short episode once again, but I think it's pretty evenly matched between unrated and rated. Um, random battles. It's just in unrated you're more likely to get um, people forfeiting because they won't lose a rating. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of this battle, guys. If you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with everything from me, Corvus Knight. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.